The Stevens College English and Creative Writing Department presents The Sisterhood Archives. Chapter 4 What kind of help are we talking about? It's delicate. Susie, do you want to tell them? Uh... Casey... They're my friends, Suze. I trust them. You can too. Well, I don't even know how you can help my situation. Yeah, what kind of situation are we talking about? I'm late. Like her... You know... Oh. Oh. Frankie. Casey. Aiden. Let's huddle up for a moment. I don't want to be trouble. Casey. I want to help her, but we can't interfere in people's lives like this. We've stayed here for way too long as it is. We can't just leave her. We have to. The janitor told us that we're, like, in danger of damaging the time-space continuum already. What? I don't really know, but he said it would be bad if we didn't leave now. Eden? If we stay five more minutes, ten tops. This is crazy talk. Listen, if you guys want to stay, fine, but I'm going back. Frankie, how are we even going to help her, huh? You got any bright ideas? I don't know yet, but if it were you... It wouldn't be me. Frankie! That's what Susie's friend said, too, and now she's alone and... Wait, where is she? Oh, crap. She's gone! She probably heard Frankie and freaked out! She probably went to get a drink or something. Relax. Susie! Susie! Casey, give it up. Casey! Oh, crap. A protest. Vietnam. I bet she's in there somewhere. We gotta find her. I, uh... Why would she join the protest? Is she a real bleeding heart or something? Eden, are you with me? I... I can't. Are you taking Frankie's side? No, I... She's saying reason, thank you. Will you guys shut up? I'm having a panic... A panic attack. Oh, shoot. Frankie, let's help her inside. Put your head down. There you go. Can you take a deep breath? It helps to breathe into a bag. Let me see if I can find one. There you go. Nice and easy. Sit down. I didn't know you were afraid of crowds. I am. But I'm also not particularly fond of arguments. And maybe the time traveling has worn me out too. <sighs> what a normal thing to say. I didn't find a bag, but I did find something better. Dr. Professor Peterson! What's going on? Is she ill? I'm okay. Little panic attack. Nothing to write home about. We should get you to the clinic. No, I'm okay. I really am. Thanks to these two. Well, if you're sure. I know I don't know you very well, but I'm a friend to every woman at this school. If you ever need anything. Oh my gosh. We do need something. Our friend, Susie. Oh, now she's our friend? Susie's in trouble. Like, in trouble. In trouble. And we don't know what to do. I don't think Susie wants everyone knowing her business, Frankie. It's not everyone. It's Peterson. Eden, remember, she told us back then about this underground group called... The Jane Collective. Except it didn't start until... (laughs) Dr. Professor Peterson, do you know of any uh, services that could help Susie? Maybe talk through her options? We don't know what she wants to do, and we can't stay. We're just visiting. Well, of course I do. It's 1968, not 1768. Amazing. Except... We don't know where Susie is, because this one... I know, I know. Okay, if I was going to have a breakdown, where would I go? I would go to the fashion labs. I've cried in there like a billion times. I bet that's it. Susie? Susie. Should we split up and search the rooms? I could barely find my way around the fashion studios in our time. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's crying and 
also sewing? That's a fashion major, all right. Oh, there she is. Casey, wait. Do you mind if I go in first? I need to apologize. For sure. That's very cool of you, Frankie. Take your time. Not too much time, but you know what I mean. Hey, Susie. Oh, you found me. Can I sit? I don't know. Can you? I need to apologize. I was really insensitive. I wasn't listening to you or Casey or Eden. It's all right. I was probably overreacting anyway. No, you weren't. And stop doing that. Apologizing, doubting yourself, you reached out for support and I turned you down. That's not who I am. You're going through something difficult and I should have... I should have been kinder. You're going to make me cry again. Thank you. Here, come on. We want to introduce you to someone. Susie, this is our friend, Professor Peterson. Susie, nice to meet you. I'm the new professor of history. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Nice to meet you. Professor Peterson is, like, the best, and we think she can help you. I don't know everything about your situation, but I'd like to listen if you'd like to talk. Yes, I'd really like that. Excellent. A private place might be better. Why don't you meet me in my office? I'm on the second floor of Hickman Hall. I'll make us some hot tea. Sounds wonderful. Will you give me just a minute? I need to say goodbye to my friends. I think they've got somewhere they need to be. It's true, we probably should be going. Are you going to be okay, Suze? Just tell us and we can stay. All I want to say is thank you for caring and listening and chasing after me and finding help. I don't think there's any way I can repay your kindness, but... You really don't have to do that. Look, I got these fabric swatches a while back. They're neat, but I think they're just too experimental for me. But I think they're perfect for you. Look, you can use them as a handkerchief next time you're feeling down. In a way, I'll be there for you, just like you were there for me. Oh, Susie, these are gorgeous. That's incredibly thoughtful. Thank you. Casey, I'm so glad you came into that classroom. Well, I don't want Professor Peterson's tea to get cold. I hope I see you girlies around. Bye, Suze. Wait, girlies? Maybe she picked it up from Casey. I love a girly, but I don't think I ever said it in front of her. Which must mean... That's our cue to go. Before reality completely folds on itself and it's Beyonce running for president instead of Nixon. Although, actually... Okay, now it's my turn to say no. Yeah, let's get back before the janitor kills us himself. You guys ready? Ready! Ready. Okay, hold on. Sisterhood Archives is a production of the Stevens College English and Creative Writing Department. This episode starred Alina Harper as Eden, River Lorraine as Casey, and Sophia Dodka as Frankie. The season also features Anne Breidenbach as Carlisle, Hadley Houck as Peterson, Paris Butte as the janitor, Ems McNamara as Susie, Emmy Huffman as Ace, and Lizzie German as Young Peterson. Bailey Johnson provided additional voices. This series was written by the Stevens College Audio Drama Class and was recorded in the Stevens College campus in Columbia, Missouri. Our sound engineer is Richard E. Harris, Jr., and our executive producer is Kate Bernkin-Kogut.